The agreement to form a monitoring committee with OPEC and non-OPEC countries, I think, is a signal to the market that there will be some commitment from these countries. Their willingness to be monitored, I think, is a willingness. The rise in prices, I think, will convince everybody that the cut is making effects which will be realized in their income. In fact, I was referring to you as the uh, global oil policeman. Uh, you're trying to basically herd cats. I mean, it's a number of countries you're trying to get onto the same policy. It's not an easy job to, to complete this. I know. I started, as I said, uh, I started earlier, uh, even before the start of the, the start date of January. And I started communicating with the GCC ministers uh, in order to come to an agreement of the mechanism for monitoring. And I think we came to an agreement uh, partially before meeting with OPEC uh, General Secretary. Uh, now I think we will have to combine OPEC's monitoring mechanism with the proposed one that we have proposed, which, which is uh, related to the export uh, of each country. I read uh, Saudi uh, Arabia's Minister of Energy, Khalid al Fali, uh, open to the fact that maybe we renew this agreement through 2017. Don't stop at six months. Uh, uh, maintain this discipline. What do you think? If we continue to see the current level of prices, uh, and uh, that is uh, the, the commitment of the, of the uh, OPEC community as well as the non OPEC is uh, at, at a satisfactory level, I think uh, we could renew it for another six months. We have a billion barrels to eat up of surplus. When does supply and demand match in the fourth quarter of uh, 2017 to, to balance out I don't even think, the surplus? John, I don't think we have a billion. I think we have about 300 that we consider to be a surplus. Of course, there should be minimum, minimum reserves in those tanks at, at the end of the day. So we're talking about maybe 300 to, to 400 million that, have to be eaten that up. has to be eaten up. And I think that could be done within a year. So that would argue in support of continuing the agreement then? Yes, yes. So uh, at the end of the year, then we have to look at the agreement again. If we, if we uh, uh, would, again, carry over the, the agreement for another six months or not.